Tonight it won the Carabao Cup with a team that bears very little relation to the team they had even six or seven months ago. And it's not just Eric Ten Hag, but the players. Um, and both of us, Danny, um, started the analysis of the game by saying in multiple Champions League winner Casimiro, they've, uh, they, they've got know-how. Um, Martinez has been to a World Cup final, know-how. Varane, um, I couldn't believe it the year he won the World Cup and the Champions League that he wasn't the Ballon d'Or winner. But of course, he makes the mistake in life of being a defender. He's got fantastic know-how. Um, I mean, I'm not sure you can build a team for the future around um, t- uh, Casemiro and, uh, and, uh, and Varane because they're, they're not young players. But it actually doesn't seem to matter anymore in football. If you're old enough, young enough, fit enough, you can do it. I mean, is Casemiro, has he been, the, has he been the, 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 the critical brick in the wall for them? Yes. Yes, he has. I mean, it's yeah. th- there's there's never one thing. You can't just throw him into a chaotic no. side. I mean, the structure of the side, the way he set it up, um, the balance, the other the other people playing well, who he's decided to make pairings at the back of Martinez and Varane's been worked a treat. Shaw has been sensational. I mean, we talk about the game the other day. Shaw looked like he'd played in a million finals, didn't he? He's played that many big games for England now. It's it's amazing how those players who've got that experience just just take it all in their stride, but. Back to, back to Casemiro, I think he is very, very intelligent w- with his play in terms of when he needs to be the destroyer and get back in and fill spaces and um, make interceptions and help his fullback or his centre-half out and, and knowing when now it's time to try and make a contribution and open a defence or get a goal himself. I mean, he's not known for his goal scoring, but he can he can open up defences with his passing. He's a terrific footballer. I, I think he's been absolutely sensational. I think the, the Varane um, argument of, you know, building a team around him will... You just keep him as long as you possibly can and try and get him out there as often as you can because he's a wonderfully calming influence on everyone else and he's a, he's a Rolls-Royce of a defender. He reminds me of Van Dijk when he was at his best. You know, that mm. that seemed comfortable in everything he did. No one can really trouble him. So they've got a really wonderful group of players now that are all comfortable in their own skin. And, of course, it's like it's all, it's always the same. You always have to evolve. You always have to add a little bit extra each each summer because the competitors do. I think a striker's needed, of course. Vegor's ain't the answer, is he? I mean, he's done okay. He's um, yeah. he's worked hard. He's linked the play. He's done, he's done okay, but they need a striker. That's going to be interesting to see who they really go for in the in the summer because that's going to be a huge addition for them if they get a real top quality striker. In. Do you think um, sh- sh- what what was Ten Hag playing at when Casemiro first signed? He he didn't play him. I mean, it took him a while before he got got a place inside. I know you have this thing about bedding in, but the guys come from Real Madrid. I, I didn't really understand why he wasn't straight in the team. I, I think it would probably be a mixture of two things. One one is that they'd had a, a couple of decent results when he first mm-hmm. was available, so he just left the team as it was. And probably the sports science people did some testing with him, maybe to see where he was up to, and then they just wanted to... You know, you get that a lot when players go to new clubs now. It used to be, buy a new player, get him in. We need an mm. improvement. Yeah. And we see it so often now. You see... I, I, do you know what? It's a fascinating subject, this, because January, even summer, you mm. see all these new players sign for teams. Very few of them get thrown straight in. And I think to myself, I, personally, when I moved clubs, all I wanted to do was start playing to feel my way yeah. in, get to know me, yeah, exactly. get to know the players, get your fitness. And then we wonder why they take a, a while to bed in when you don't throw them in at the deep end. Managers well, worry so much. It- in the case of Casemiro, you know, we normally mm-hmm. say, well, the new player has to catch up with the way we play. I suspect that... <laughs> they have to was, catch up with can, it, yeah. Can the rest of the club catch up with the way this fella plays? <laughs> and, I mean, look, you're exactly right, Danny. I'm thinking about Spurs, where, you know, Emerson Royal was, was being booed onto the pitch in a recent right. game. Not off it, onto the pitch. Um uh, they spend £40 million on a replacement, and suddenly he looks like Cafu. I don't get it, you know, but... Uh, but, you know, and Pedro Porro is forced to play bits and pieces uh, in a, out of position. Sean, um, try and uh, try not to make Danny worry too much. But um, <laughs> the, obviously, the, impre- the the improvement in Manchester United is palpable. It's it's tangible. It's there. It's obvious. Mm. Um, but they're not they're not yet uh, you know the, the finished article. Oh. Um, a striker, yeah, and, I mean, and I think then, then, that, they? then they're trouble, aren't they? They're proper trouble in Manchester United. But, I mean, 
there is some people saying, why doesn't Rashford have a run, a proper run up front as the central striker again? Because it, you know, they have toyed with that from time to time and decided it didn't quite work. So we, to help him, they put him out on the left, I think. But he's he is looking confident, and you do wonder whether he could be the man to lead the line. No, uh, well, the only not. thing I'd say about that, and Danny will pr- probably shoot me down here, is that when when the game changed to one striker, it became the most specialist position mm. on the pitch after goalkeeper. Um, when there was two, you could play off each other. There were kind of two roles to be had. I'm not, you know, if Marcus is scoring the goals, he's scoring away from that position. I mean, it, it really has become a kind of special position, Danny, playing up front. You know, it, it, I mean, you know, you've got teams who, who who play false nines and all the rest of it, but. I think that's why we're seeing the you know the the, the demand for out and out strikers is is so huge because this they, obviously the gene pool is narrowed because yeah. play, clubs are only playing bringing one through at a time. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think it's an either or, but I I concur. I I think he's more than capable of playing in certain games mm. depending on the opposition high up, especially if there's space to run behind because he's electric. He's powerful. Mm. If I've ever seen him. The the ability the the advantage of coming off the left for him at times is that is everything's in front of him and he's a dribbler he likes he likes running past people you don't get that opportunity when you play as a centre forward very often unless you're dropping really deep and then running at people to actually you you sacrifice a lot of your game to be a nine so I think he could play there as and when needed but I would still go and get the best that they can striker and then use Rashford as this as the backup. Um, to him if he gets injured and then you know you've got Garnaccio coming through I don't know what's going to happen with Martial God knows from season to season with him but I think although Rashford is capable I still don't think that will restrict or, or stop United going out and smashing the record probably for a strike I think they'll go and they'll, they'll break the bank for someone Danny you study all this stuff who is it in Europe who you would go and get? Uh, it'll, it'll be, if, if they can get him, they'll get Aussie men Amen. from yeah. uh, from Napoli. Yeah. Um, and th- there was a worry a year ago that Aussie men is so physical that he was getting mm. himself injured. Um, but this season, even though he has to play full time in a mask because of a previous injury, this year he has battered all before him. Um, helped with Kevish failure, or what I can't pronounce the man's name. Yeah, the winger they got in because of the war. Unbelievable footballer. Um, but it'll be, it'll be Aussie men they will try and get, is my guess. Um, it, because otherwise you have to deal with Daniel Levy. And uh, everyone knows that that's not the easiest thing to do not Kane, in the then. summer. Not Kane. That's no. what I said. You, you don't have to deal with Daniel Levy, do you? If you, if you go for Aussie men, not no, Kane, you... Uh, but, but you wouldn't even have a try. I, I think one of the reasons with... Um, with I mean, Kane has scored goals in, in any team, no doubt. Wonderful talent. But with Fernandez playing that 10 role with... I mean, it depends who's going to play behind Casemiro and another next season. I think they'll probably get another centre midfield. He'd like De Jong, ideally, to take Eriksson's place. I think Fernandez playing in that hole wouldn't suit necessarily the way Kane likes to drop in. Mm-hmm. I think he gets that space to drop in at Tottenham because they only play two in the middle of the park. They don't really play a 10, yep. which he leaves be- these... He becomes the 10, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he does, yeah. yeah. So I, I'm not sure on that. But also, more importantly, is the longevity of the team and building for a future. Yeah. You know, Kane's a short term. He's going to get United loads of goals. He, he'd, make them, he'd make them title challenges. But Osman is... He's quick, he's strong, he runs... He, you know, he's physical. He, he could be at United for years, couldn't he? If they can get yeah. him. 